In the following example, we are asked to find the angle of smallest positive measure coterminal with the given angle. So we've got two examples. But before we even proceed, let's think about what coterminal means. Co means together. Terminal comes from Latin. Uh, suppose you've got, if you speak Spanish, I guess, termina. What does that mean? Where something ends. So they, together, they end at the same point. That's what coterminal means. Well, here's a textbook definition. Coterminal angles. They are angles which have the same initial side. They start at the same point, but they are, and they also end at the same point. So they start and end at the same point. However, they differ by the amount of rotations that occur. So if you rotate around a circle, and think about rotating around. Well, how many degrees is that in terms of circular motion? That's 360 degrees. So these coterminals are going to differ by a multiple of 360 degrees. So in this case, it's going to start here, it's going to end here, but notice we can start here, we can make a whole revolution, and we can come right back around and end there. So suppose right here in an example that this was 30 degrees. Well, if I say, okay, this is 30 degrees. I want you to rotate around the circle one time. How many degrees have you spanned now? Well, we count the initial 30. We're going to go around another 360. So we've technically spanned 390 degrees. So 30 and 390 degrees are coterminal angles. And that's what we're going to do with these example problems here. So it says the smallest positive measure. So what we're going to do, this is negative. So to get a positive measure, I'm going to need to add a factor of 360 degrees. So let me go ahead and do that. And guess what? When I add this right here, I end up with automatically a positive number, which is 306 degrees. So this right here is the smallest positive number that is um, coterminal with negative 54 degrees. Okay, so kind of keep that in mind. But now let's take a look at this one. If we want to find a coterminal, and that's positive, but the smallest positive, we're going to have to subtract 360. Okay, so I'm just thinking here, if I subtract 360 one time, well, I still have something that's bigger than 360. Okay, think about that. So let's try subtracting 360 two times. Let me sub say minus 2 times 360 degrees. Okay, so that's going to give me, in other words, 843 degrees minus 720 degrees, which is going to leave me with 123 degrees. Now notice, I can't subtract 360 anymore without getting a negative number. So this right here then is the smallest positive coterminal angle with 843 degrees. So hopefully this makes sense, but like I said, just kind of review the definition that I gave you about coterminal angles. And remember, they're angles which have the same initial side and the same terminal side, but differ by the amounts of rotation, meaning their measure will differ by a multiple of 360 degrees.